Hello. Welcome to Jason Chats. Hey, with Andre and me. And are you okay? He's got hiccups. <laughs> got a hiccup hiccups. Mm. So um just took him for a walk. So he just got back. He's had his dinner. Well, he's had some of his dinner. And he was just getting some sleep and he really doesn't wanna doesn't wanna be here, so he's gone back to bed. So this is the first of my Jason Chat vlogs. It's not really the first because I've done probably hundreds over the years, but this is the first of the vlogs that I'm going to keep online on this YouTube channel. So if you want to find my YouTube videos, if you forget the channel or whatever, just put Jason Chats, one word, and you should see a picture of me. Uh, I actually spell it J-A-S-O-N, capital J-A-S-O-N, and then capital C, H-A-T-S. Um, all one word. But I think the actual, the name of the channel is actually Chats with a Z, I think. I don't know. I think so. <clears throat> so, the point behind making these videos is very, very simple. It's a vlog um, about my life. Each video generally is going to be you know, roughly 10 minutes long. Uh, but I'm going to be talking about how I feel. We're talking about my moods, about my, you know, how, emotionally how I am because uh, I should introduce myself, I suppose. Um, I, my name's Jason and I am diagnosed with bipolar affective disorder. I have been for a few years and currently not working due to the condition. Um, the main issue really regarding work that I have, uh, apart from having weird hair today for some reason, is um, my mood changes daily, sometimes a few times within the day, but extreme to the point where I perhaps become antisocial is, I guess, a word for it. Um, my behaviour, my the things I say and do aren't conducive to a keeping a job really I just uh, I, d I don't kind of fit in when I'm like that I don't I don't really feel I've ever fitted in ever, ever any anywhere anyway so um, I'm trying to introduce myself is quite weird um, I mean, it's, there's more to me. I'm not just somebody with uh, a mental illness. And the thing about it is, with bipolar, there's this... Um, I don't know. It's like, you've got an illness, but then... Am I ill with the illness? So if I get manic or if I get really deeply depressed, then I'm ill. But I'm ill with an illness that I already have, which is bipolar. It's kind of, uh, it's a strange one. I think when I was diagnosed, somebody asked me, a friend asked me, I said, uh, so how do you feel uh, being diagnosed with bipolar? And I think my first response was, Mm, up and down, mm, 
which is kind of just like a little joke, but, um, and then I thought, well, yeah, nothing's changed. Okay, a diagnosis, I've got a diagnosis, but the symptoms are still the same. Um, because when I actually went to the psychiatrist, I didn't really believe that I was going to come out with a diagnosis for bipolar. I didn't expect that. Uh, for many years, I kind of thought that possibly I had got um, some I'm kind of on the autistic spectrum, maybe um, Asperger's um, ish kind of. And it, uh, I'd say, in a sense, maybe everybody is on the spectrum of something. We're all kind of on the spectrum. Um, in a sense of something or other, but uh, it's such a wide, wide spectrum. It's a big old net. But you know, I think for me it was the case. I didn't, never really uh, fitted in. Never, I never. I struggled, struggled to um, connect with people in a in an emotional way or to be interested in other people. Um, always found myself getting uh, very much self, you know, thinking about myself and getting completely um, obsessed with specific things, you know, uh, maybe a hobby. In the past it's been like martial arts or comedy, hypnosis, witchcraft, um, trying to think some other things but a few things uh, oh yeah, uh, web web design so there's been a few things that I've been completely absorbed with and that's all I thought about all day every day for years maybe and the only thing that's really stuck with me long term is the hypnosis and I've had that since 98 and it's now 2007 so yeah nearly 20 years but the comedy stayed with me for quite a while. I had that going for over 10 years. So yeah. Um, so this is kind of like an introduction to me, kind of, I'm 46, nearly 47 in August. I won't be nearly 47 in August, I will be 47 in August, but yeah. Um, born and live in England and I do hypnosis sessions online on my other YouTube channel, uh, which is, um, if you just check Jason Newland Hypnosis, put that in and you'll see my YouTube channel. I'm going to put a link hopefully in on my YouTube channel here. And the point, what else is there about me? Yes, I do that hypnosis. I do it online because, you know, I, I like to try and help people. I've been doing that for over 10 years now online. I've also got uh, iTunes accounts and I down people download thousands every every month of them from their SoundCloud account as well. I've got um, Facebook, iTunes and all not iTunes, uh, Twitter and all that stuff of course. <sighs> I was gonna say something, I can't remember, but yeah. Um the idea behind making these vlogs is solely to give myself um, an opportunity to express how I'm feeling and also maybe um, it might help other people along the way. I don't know. I really don't know. But I am also a qualified counsellor. I spent three years full time. Um, doing a university course, so I got a, a counselling degree in 2010 and I was a counsellor for a few years as well as a profession until all of the, the government financial cuts which meant I didn't sort of have any more work left. Then I had to go back and work in a call centre and then I got ill and been off work since. Um, I live in Essex, in um, a town in Essex, 
Um, other than that, um, I'm open to any questions if you've got any, but I'm just going to be making videos over the next few years, I suppose. I live with my little boy, Andre, who you saw at the beginning of the video. He's a polecat ferret. He's uh, my little boy. I had him for nearly two years now. Uh, in August or September will be two years and he's I just love him to bits so that's it I'm gonna go I will see you tomorrow see you later bye